You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. I like your dogs. I'm John Espino from The Young Folks, and I'm here with Tony Amendola to talk about the horror film Annabelle. Hi, Tony. Thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure, John. So, any supernatural experiences in your life? Ooh, uh, you know, uh, it was something a while back where I, uh, I lost a loved one and woke up in the middle of the night a couple of days afterwards and proceeded to the bathroom. And on my way back, she was seated on a chair. And it, uh, in this case, wonderfully, it wasn't a frightening ex experience mm -hmm. at all. It was actually sort of comforting. Did they make contact? Did they say anything? No. No, nothing. Just it was the presence just, was... It was all about presence, yeah. All the presence? Yeah. And speaking of presence, were there any supernatural presences during filming? Any you know, complications? It, we've had, uh, we've had uh, a number of incidents during the course of this uh, PR tour that's been, that have been fascinating. Uh, TSA just doesn't know quite what to make of <laughs> Annabelle. Uh, and also, um, you know, we're traveling with a curandero, and uh, he had some objects in a hotel. Mm -hmm. And when we went back to retrieve them, uh, the door of the hotel was locked from the inside, you know, with the latch, and we thought that was peculiar. But in the actual filming, Ward uh, Horton, who plays John, uh, told me that when he sat down and opened his script to learn the words he yeah. had just arrived <laughs> in L.A., you know, as, just as he was beginning, a, uh, a medicine cabinet fell off a wall in the bathroom, so he thought... Okay, this is sort of odd, but he called the landlord, fixed it, and then on the very last day of shooting, he opened his script, he was trying to memorize his words, and the same medicine cabinet fell off the wall. He thought, okay, <laughs> you know. Trying to send a message. Something. Yeah, she's a powerful lady. <laughs> so you've gotten to be pretty well acquainted with her. I have, I have. How is her temperament? <laughs> her temperament, well, you know, if you treat her with respect, she will consider sparing you. If you treat her with any kind of malice or mocking, she'll go right for your throat. <laughs> and with the curandero, you said, uh, did you learn anything from him? Anything that you're going to change now? Well, you know, I mean, I've always been, uh, you know, I'm a 21st century uh, man, and so obviously I'm tied to science. This is the age of dominant science. But uh, I've always been open to other possibilities. I've always thought it arrogant that, you know, uh, 21st century science should think they have all the answers. They have some of the answers, but not all. No. And I think <laughs> we'll be laugh laughed at the way the 17th and 18th century will be laughed at. And my friend uh, Salvador Gata has, uh, uh, yeah, he's taught me some things. He's opened me. Just being around him, when you meet him and speak to him, you'll see. So what inspired you to be part of this film? Well, you know, uh, for me, I, I loved uh, horror films as a boy. I remember going to a particular film, I was eight or nine years old, when I arrived at the theater, there was an ambulance outside. Mm -hmm. When I bought my ticket and I went in, there were two nurses with like several chairs in case anyone needed care. <laughs> and I, I remember just being so thrilled by that. Well, you cut to uh, 30 or 40 years later, 50 years later at this point, <laughs> I, I had the opportunity to do Annabelle and, uh, mm -hmm. and I love jumping genres. You know, I've done action, I've done drama, I've done science fiction, I've done comedy, and I, I, I love that. So to step into the world of horror was sort of fun. So how would you compare this to other kind of similar possession movies? Well, you know, I mean, I think some of the possession movies have been the most powerful. You know, The Exorcist, and The Omen, mm -hmm. and certainly The Conjuring, which I think is one. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, it was amazing. I hadn't seen it until I did the research, and I approached it work a day like a a man doing his homework, and I was just blown away by it. I, I mean, it's an extraordinary film. And I, because Annabelle is based on a case history of the uh, Warrens, I, uh, I can only hope uh, it will be as impactful. Did you get to meet the Warrens? Did they I did not. No. I did not. Although, I grew, you know, the, coincidentally, I grew up in Connecticut, mm -hmm. where the Warrens have their museum and where they live. And in my research, I discovered I went to a small state school. Uh, before I, I eventually went to school in Philadelphia, and they taught a class there. And I thought, oh, that's right around <laughs> the time I was there. Uh -huh. And uh, so that was peculiar. 
That's coincidence, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so is there any part in the movie that you're most excited for audiences? Without giving too much away. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we're always, see, I love horror films, let me tell you why. Uh, you know, you go see a drama and it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, you get good, bad, whatever, you know. But uh, horror films and comedies are the only thing that unite the audience. And you know, I come from a theater background where you're used to getting instant feedback, whether mm -hmm. they're bored, they're laughing, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and generally, you know, we go into our own cubicles in a movie theater. Mm -hmm. It's social, but we're really, you know, we're- Our own space. Yeah, we're sort of, Shh, don't, don't <laughs> spoil it for me as if it should be uh, a lone event. Whereas horror films, mm -hmm. I find are sort of uh, unifying that uh, what excites me the most is to hear a gasp or a scream and then the little laugh afterwards. Yeah. Oh my God, they got me hot. It's oh. like you need that laughter exactly, just to know? release the tension. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I love the, you know, I'm convinced it's sort of a hormonal, you know, that we need that adrenaline rush because... Uh, you feel good afterwards. You do. And your heart's so. pumping. Yeah, <laughs> some people, but some people, you know, it's harder for them. Yeah, some people are really terrified. Yeah, yeah. Do you think this will really terrify people? I hope so. Do we need paramedics outside I, of the theaters? I think you may. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Tony. All the best, John. Thank Hi. you. I'd like to invite you all to see Annabelle, a terrifyingly entertaining film, October 3rd. Who are you?